Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. There I am again. Hey! All right, so I am going to show you some exciting things that I haven't shown you before, and let's get rocking and rolling. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day out there in Facebook land or on YouTube or wherever you're watching the replay. Say hello, and if I have, if I glaze over anything on this presentation, because I've never given this presentation before, so if I say something that doesn't really like make sense, leave me a comment or shoot me a message, okay? I, I want to answer your questions, so let me know what they are, all right? And hopefully you won't have too many questions, but if you do, just shoot me a message or leave me a comment and I'll be glad to answer it for you. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen and we're going here and we'll present that. Okay, I'm gonna stop my video because I left it running last week and people said it was distracting seeing me making my faces and things. So I'm not gonna do that and confuse you. This is real estate investing without banks or a license, which is my specialty. So hopefully by the end of this, you will learn how you can become a real estate investor without needing banks or a license. It all started in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm from Knoxville. And Victor Jernigan was the first person who actually introduced me to creative real estate owner financing, lease options, subject to weird stuff without banks, without money. And Victor's actually a broker. So I really valued his opinion because I have my real estate license. I still have it. I'm retiring it right now, but I still have it. So Victor told me that there was ways to make money in real estate without using banks and without using my license. And he created a monster. <laughs> After I had been listening to Victor and learning about real estate for about two years, I started teaching these creative strategies to doing real estate. So it didn't take me too long to catch on. And once I really caught on that Victor was telling the truth, I went after every deal I can come up with. And I actually did 57 deals in like two and a half years, which was awesome. So let me introduce myself. Hey y'all, I'm Whitney. I love to travel and I am a real estate broker, but I'm retiring my license because you just don't need it and the stupid thing keeps getting in my way. I am an educator. I teach women how to buy houses without banks or a license and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today. I'm a dog mom to Abby the Labby. I absolutely love, love, love dogs, but I am a real estate investor. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an actress, an author, and a real estate investor. And I thought I would do it in that order, but it turns out I started as a real estate investor, then became an author, and I'm still, you know, waiting on my big break to be get into acting. <laughs> but all honestly, I grew up in a small town north of Knoxville, Tennessee. It's kind of like Mayberry. It's called Pal. Uh, it's pronounced P-A-L, but it looks like P-O-W-E-L-L. -L. And Friday night entertainment was definitely going to the high school football games and hanging out with my friends. I did not grow up with, you know, a silver spoon in my mouth. I had a, you know, pretty regular Southern family. And the biggest, most influential person in my life was my mom, still is my mom, because my mom was a real estate investor. And I remember the year I graduated high school, my mom made $19,000 a year working for our family's trucking company, working for her dad. She made 19 grand a year. And with, you know, that's not a whole lot of money, but with that, every three to five years, as I was growing up, my mom would go buy houses. She would save up every penny that she could, and she would go buy houses and then rent them back out. So she was a real estate investor, but on kind of like cash and carry deals. She was definitely a buy and hold investor. And after I graduated from UT, I went to work for the family company because it was the middle of the recession. I didn't know where else I'd get a job. And I knew that mama needed me to help her, you know, with all these dump trucks. So I went to work with my mom and I was making about $24,000 a year, more than my mom, even though she'd been there for like 30 years. 
but it wasn't enough, right? I had all these dreams. I had all these plans. I had all these things that I wanted to do, but this job was like holding me back because my mom wanted me to be at the office every day, Monday through Friday from like nine until five. And I thought that was ridiculous. I also thought it was ridiculous to have to save up all my money and then go buy houses and hope and pray I eventually got an investment. I got a return on my investment. All right. I knew there had to be another way of getting into real estate. And that's honestly when I found the Knoxville Real Estate Investors Association. I'm checking the comments here to make sure that y'all can hear me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Okay. So I knew there had to be a better way. And it was through the Real Estate Investor Association. That's where I met Victor. That's when he opened my eyes and opened my brain to buying houses without banks and without a license, which my mom honestly thought I was kind of crazy when I told her that. In fact, she asked me if it was illegal. And I was like, no, mom, these guys are buying these houses. Victor's told me about all these deals he's done like this. He's told me about the hundreds of thousands of dollars he's made without banks and without a license. So no, it, it, it well, it's not illegal. My mom is still step, skeptical though. So I continued learning. I continued, you know, trying to figure out what was going on and how I could get into real estate. And that's when I met Bruce Barrett. And he taught a two-night seminar in Knoxville on lease options, which led me to finding Ron Legrand. So in November of 2013, I found out about lease options. And in December of 2013, I pledged $3,000 to my credit card that I did not have. I had to up my limit. I hauled butt to Jacksonville, Florida to learn everything I could from Ron Legrand and Jay Connor. And... If you look in this picture down here on the bottom, I want you to notice that I was sitting in a room full of men. I was learning from men and I was surrounded by men in real estate. And I thought, where are all the women? And am I going to be able to do this as a woman? Is anybody going to take me seriously? And I was 28 years old and I had no experience. I didn't have any money to invest. Like I, I, I was just going on pretty much faith, hope, and a prayer at that point and honestly just sheer determination to make something happen because my boyfriend who is in that bottom picture with me there he told me that i had church camp mentality and that i'd gone to this seminar and this guru had just filled me up with all these great ideas but that when i got home he told me that it wouldn't work I wouldn't be able to find anybody to do lease options with me i wouldn't be able to find a seller that wanted to let me make them payments. I wouldn't be able to find anybody who would, you know, give me a really smoking good deal on their house. But I didn't listen to him. All right. I worked my tail off. In this picture, we're on vacation. We're at the beach and he's looking up, you know, hunting and fishing and whatever it is he looks up on his computer. And I was looking up addresses. We were on vacation and I was going to be calling on sellers in that area. I was determined that I was going to go try to make a deal happen while we were on vacation. Like I was bound and determined to make this real estate thing work. And he just would not get on board with me. So we ended up at a Krispy Kreme back in Knoxville a couple months later. And we had a good old redneck throwdown in the parking lot. I was, you know, bawling my eyes out. I could not understand why he did not have any, you know, faith in me. I'd been doing some deals, but he was still this negative Nancy in my head telling me that I was never going to be successful. I was never going to be able to get this to where I thought it would be. I basically needed to give it up, keep my trucking job and stop, you know, with these pie in the sky ideas. And I finally just told him to go back to Georgia. I didn't need that kind of negativity in my life. So I'm going to stop my love story there because I know you're not really here to find out about my love life. You want to know about the real estate, right? That's what you're excited about. So in the comments here, give me a yes if you're ready for me to nerd out on real estate because I can nerd out with the best of them, but I don't want to unless you're ready <laughs> for me to nerd out with you. So give me a yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Give me a yes down in the comments to let me know that you're ready and you want to find out the real estate side of this story. All right. There's the yeses. There's yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. Okay. So in 2014, I started doing lease options. I started talking to sellers. I started getting as many deals done as I possibly could. And this last August, I went around for a day and took pictures in front of some of my favorite deals. These are all houses in my honey hole, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But these were all some of the first 57 deals that I did. All in Jefferson County, Knox County, and Hamblin County, right outside of the greater Knoxville area. And I'm super proud of all these deals. I'm gonna even highlight a couple of these deals for you and show you that it's totally possible for you to buy houses without a license and without banks, just like I've been doing. Now I've mentioned a lease option and you may be thinking to yourself, what is that? What is a lease option? It basically boils down to a really fancy rental agreement, just like you were gonna go rent a house or lease a house but it also gives you the opportunity to buy the property in the future. It's a super cool piece of paper. Sometimes uh, attorneys break it into two pieces of paper because it really is, by definition, a rental agreement and a purchase and sale agreement. It's really, really cool. And you can fill out the paper so that you have 10 or 15 years before you have to buy the house. You can rent the house and you can make money on it forever and ever. If you want to so that's how I buy houses I also sell houses on a lease option which if you want to get super nerdy that's technically a sandwich lease option so I go out to my sellers and I say hey I can start making you payments on this house and then I will find other people that actually make those payments for me that that's what makes it a sandwich we're getting a lease option from the seller and I'm getting a lease option from the buyer now I know the next question, or I think the next question in your head should be, Whitney, who in their right mind would agree to a lease option? Or you might be like my boyfriend then and saying, Whitney, who in their right mind would agree to finance this house to you? Or you might be thinking, Whitney, in my area, nobody is gonna agree to 50 cents on the dollar. Who would actually do that? Well, I've got three examples of who exactly is going to do that. Now, this is my first deal ever. I will tell this story until the day I die because this story is really what showed me that it was all possible. So the people that bought this house before I met them, they had decided that this was going to be their retirement house. And they moved in. After they'd been there for about six months, their daughter called them and said, hey, guess what? I'm pregnant and I'm moving home. And they went, uh-oh. Because this house had been their retirement house. They'd not planned on having somebody and a baby move into this house and it wasn't big enough. And then she said, oh, by the way, I'm due pretty much any minute. I'm going to have this baby in the next week or two. And they said, oh, crap, we got to go fast. All right. These people didn't have a money problem. They had a life situation happen and they had to go quickly but they didn't want to have to make the payments on this empty house. They didn't want to have to do anything to the house. And it was pretty. I mean, you can see here that there's nothing wrong with this house, but they didn't want to have to like wait on agents. They didn't want to have to go through this big rigmarole, put it on the market, blah, 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 blah. They just wanted something to happen like yesterday because time was of the essence. So I came through and I agreed to pay them what they owed on the house, which was about 122,000. I agreed to start making their payments in June and I actually signed the contract on this house the last day of February. By the middle of March, I found a couple who was moving to Dandridge from Chicago, and they agreed to pay me $135,000 for this house. But not only would they pay me about $13,000, the difference of one thirty five dollars and one twenty two, dollars they also wanted to rent this house until their house in Chicago sold. So I agreed to give them a year to sell their house in Chicago. They would move on into this house, and whenever they cashed out, in Chicago they could just cash out this house well it happened a lot faster than I'd planned on because they started they wanted to move down immediately they wanted to start moving in the end of March and live there in April and May so they could be in East Tennessee for the springtime 
So they paid for two months rent in advance and I didn't have a payment due until June. So I made two grand just right there because I didn't have any payments due. The best part was they called me one day and they're like, Hey Whitney, our house in Chicago sold. We're going to be able to close it in the first of, at the first of May and we'll be able to close out this house the middle of May. And I'll be doggone if they didn't. Y'all, I made $15,000 on a house that I had $10 invested in. I did not have any payments due until June. These people paid me for April and May. And I agreed to pay $122 for the house, and they bought it for $135. So that's $13,000. And then two months of rent when I didn't have a payment, that's another two. That's $15,000 that I made in less than eight weeks with $10 invested in. And I did all this before I even knew what I was doing. This was my very first deal. I made 15 grand in eight weeks. If you want to be able to do that, tell me yes. Tell me yes in the comments. Say yes, absolutely. I will totally take that deal any day and all day. And this was a lease option, guys. I had like five years before I had to cash out my seller, but I gave my tenant buyers one year to sell their house in Chicago and then cash me out. It just happened so much faster than what I'd planned on. But it was a sandwich lease option. Now let's talk about an owner financing deal because when we talk about creative financing, a lot of people forget that when a house is free and clear and there's not a mortgage on it, the seller or the owner can become the bank and actually finance the property to you. I know. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> These people were tired of being landlords. Okay. They'd gotten into a situation where they bought this house with cash because they owned a small business and they had a surplus of cash and they needed to buy something. So they bought this house and they rented it for a while and everything was fine until their friend in their Sunday school class, their kid needed a place to live. So they moved in, the kids moved into this house and then somebody lost a job and then they got pregnant and then they stayed there for almost a year without paying any rent. And the people that owned this house felt bad about going to their Sunday school class and telling their friends that their kids weren't paying rent. They couldn't kick these people out of this house because it just wouldn't have been good. It wouldn't have been nice. It wouldn't have been, you know, very Southern <laughs> of them. But on the same or on the other hand, these people had made a big investment into this house and they weren't making any money at all. In fact, this house was costing them money because they were paying the taxes and insurance on this house. Not only that, they bought the lot next door. This is in a very established subdivision in Newmarket in my honey hole. And when they bought this house, they also bought the buildable lot next door, but they couldn't do anything with it because all their money was tied up in this house. These people were in pretty bad shape. Financially, they were in a rock in a hard place. Mentally, they didn't know how to tell their friends what was going on. And emotionally, they didn't want to be the bad guy. <laughs> so guess who's the bad guy? Whitney buys houses. That's right. They told the people, the, their friends, kids that were living in this house, that I bought the house and I said they had to go, which was true. But I bought this house with owner financing. We signed the paperwork in August. And the people agreed that I didn't need to make a payment on it until January. They gave me... August, September, October, November, December, five months without a payment due on this house. I also didn't have to put any money down on this house because they knew I was going to have to replace the carpets. So like 1200 bucks, I replaced the carpets, big deal. And I've got this house and the lot next door. I bought it for a hundred thousand dollars. This house right here, the value on it is $130,000 and the lot next door is at least $15,000 if I wanted to sell it to somebody. So if I kept it all together, I would be at least making $30,000 just for buying this house because I was taking their problem away. I agreed to start making them payments. I agreed to give them $100,000 for this house, which is what they'd given for it. These people were ecstatic for me to start making payments to them 
on a monthly basis and they didn't have to worry about anything anymore. They knew I would make the payments. They were going to get rid of the calls in the middle of the night and they were going to get rid of the taxes and insurance payments. Like this was such a win-win deal. They hugged my neck. They actually have a commercial building that they want me to buy right now, but I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Another thing that I do is buy and hold properties. So this lead came to me from the previous house. All right, this house right here that I bought with owner financing, the lady that owns this house had a sister who also had a house that she did not want anymore. Imagine that, sisters who are real estate investors. But this sister had a different problem. She had bought this house with her husband and they'd lived in this house and then he'd passed away. She'd gone on and bought another house and she'd been, you know, ready to give up the memories attached to this house. But she didn't want to drag it on. She didn't want to take payments on this house because she was ready to say, you know what, that stage of my life is over. I loved him. Everything's great, but I'm still alive and I need to move on. She said, make me a cash offer on this house and I'll take it. I'm sorry, you'll what? <laughs> she said, make me a cash offer. I'll take it. Just, you know, you treated my sister really well on that owner financing deal. I'm sure you will treat me really well on a cash out buy and hold deal. So I made her an offer and she agreed to it. And at this time I was making a whole lot of money in option fees. So I had a whole lot of money in my bank account. I cashed her out of this house. I checked all my formulas. Everything was going to work on this house. And within a month, I did nothing to this house. Within a month, I had two people fighting over this house. They wanted to do a lease option to buy it from me. One lady who wanted to buy this house had $40,000, $40,000 that she gave me to move into this house which that's not, I paid more than $40,000 for this house, but who would like to make $40,000 immediately, like within less than a month cash after you bought a house? I mean, it didn't take me another year before I had all my money back out of this house. All right. That's a huge, huge win in my book. Anytime you get $40,000 in a day, <laughs> that's a really good day, y'all. But the lady that moved into this house and gave me the 40000 she left in six months. She left in six months because her sister had bought a house in South Carolina on the beach, and she decided she didn't want to live in Dandridge, Tennessee anymore. She wanted to move to South Carolina and live with her sister. So she did. Had somebody else give me $10,000 to move in on, like, the ninth month that I'd had this house. So I had fifty grand in my pocket plus monthly income on this house. I still have this house. Those people moved out also. And right now I have a contract pending for somebody just to buy this house for $110,000. We're making money on this house. I'm telling y'all what money in real estate. So I, I've mentioned that on all of these houses, I sold them to people who needed to move into a house. Okay. People, love buying houses on lease options because it's perfect. It's a perfect situation for lots of people in America because everybody doesn't have perfect credit. Everybody can't just go to the bank, right? So people in your area are looking for lease option houses. All right. Also people who need to establish their job history. Lease options are perfect for them because you have to have two years of tax returns to turn in to get a mortgage. And some people have gotten new jobs and they're going to be able to get a better rate if they can show steady income for the last two years. Also, people who move to a new area love lease options because, again, the mortgage broker is going to want to see that they've had a job, a steady job for the last two years. Also, people who are selling their house and need a place to live while their other house is being built or while they find another place. Sometimes people put their house on the market and it sells in less than 24 hours or it sells in a week and they don't have anywhere to go. They can either, you know, live in a hotel or they can find a house that says, oh, perfect. We can move into this house. 
Other people put their house on the market and it takes four years to sell. So lease options are really perfect for those people because they can say, it's cool. We're going to move into that house. We'll already be living there. It'll be good. And whenever our old house sells, then we'll cash out this one. Lease options are perfect for buyers. But now when you get started and you say you want to be a real estate investor, there's three secrets that you need to know. You need to have a rock solid why. Because real estate is fun, it's profitable, but sometimes it gets a little rough. And you need to be able to remember why you wanted to start this crazy adventure. You also need leads. You need good, solid, quality leads. You need to be able to make sure that you're talking to the right people and you're not banging your head against the wall talking to sellers that are never going to take you up on these offers. The third thing you need is friends. You need people that are going to cheer you on, but you also need people that are going to feed you these leads. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But let's start with your why. So when I was working at the truck company, mom wanted me to be at the office chained to my desk from Monday through Friday from nine until five. Uh, I'm sorry, but who wants to work on Fridays at all, much less until five o'clock on Fridays? That is ridiculous. That ought to be against the law. All right. Everybody should have Fridays off. Everybody should be able to go to the lake early or go to the beach early. You should be able to go hang out with the elephants at the zoo or at Bush Gardens or the amusement park. You should be able to do whatever you want to do on Fridays. But with my job, I couldn't. See, I was really after time freedom. The money was amazing. I totally got that. But what I really wanted was to not have a boss. I didn't want to have to be somewhere when somebody told me I had to be there and stay until they told me I could leave. Anybody agree with that? Yeah. I also had my family. My family is really, really important to me. And I really want to make them proud. I don't have kids yet, but I know that when I do have kids, I want to be able to give them something. I want to be able to leave a legacy. I want to be able to have, you know, the comfort of knowing that my kids aren't going to have to worry about getting a job. They're going to be real estate investors. They're going to know how to make money without having to go to work. I also want my kids to know that we've got money coming in every month to pay for college if that's where they want to go or to pay for school or to pay for cars or whatever it is, whatever reason that you want to get into real estate investing. My family is a huge why for me. I want to make them proud, but I also want to be able to leave something to my family and not just debt. I want to be able to leave them money, streams, income producing properties. All right. That's what I want for my family. Now I mentioned the honey hole earlier, and this is going to be really important when we start talking about your leads. So this is a map of the greater Knoxville area. The smiley face is over downtown Knoxville. And then the pink triangles are my houses. All right. The red hearts, those are my mom's houses and then the black circles are my apartment complexes so you can see when I got started I was up there in Jefferson Kit City right here okay that's where I got started about 30 minutes outside of Knoxville way up here but what was cool about going outside of Knoxville is that I didn't have any competition when I started sending yellow letters to sellers, when I started calling for sell by owners on Zillow and putting bandit signs up at the red lights, nobody else was doing that. I was literally in my own little sandbox and that's how I was able to do 14 deals in nine months. I made almost $140,000 when I got started just because I found a honey hole. A honey hole is where we go to make the money, honey. A honey hole is where you can go and be the queen bee in that town, all right? You might even say it's kind of like uh, being a big fish in a small pond. Everybody out there knew that I bought houses and everybody out there was calling me. That's the magic of finding a honey hole. And that's when your leads get really, really good because you're able to tell people really quickly where you buy houses, what kind of sellers you can help, and what kind of houses you're looking for. 
It also makes it super easy. So this is a yellow letter. And when you find your honey hole, you can send yellow letters directly to the zip code where you want to buy houses. You can send yellow letters directly to sellers in that area who are tired of being a landlord or they are got a house free and clear or they've got to move really quickly. That's what you're looking for. You're looking to be like a sniper, not you know, trying to find this, that, and everything all around, but I want you to zero in so that your yellow letters are direct hits. I also want you to be able to put up bandit signs in your honey hole. And bandit signs are usually at four-way stops or red lights, and that's where, you know, it's, they're usually yellow and black. Sometimes they're white and black, and they say, I buy houses, I buy houses cash, blah, 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 blah. My bandit signs are pink. <laughs> and they stand out and they don't look like anybody else's. I've got a whole strategy behind bandit signs that works. All you got to do is answer the phone. The sellers are going to be hunting you down instead of you hunting these sellers, which is a totally different way to become a real estate investor. Most people waste time, money, and energy chasing down sellers, and that's just the wrong way to go about it. I want sellers to be finding you. I want your leads to be rock solid because your leads turn into your deals, which turns into your closing checks. <laughs> so the better leads you have, the bigger checks you're going to get. I also want you to know that experiences change. I talk to a lot of ladies who want to get into real estate investing and one of the most common things I've noticed about these ladies is they've been trying. They've gone to the gurus, they've gone to boot camps, they've watched webinars, they've done this, that, and the other. They've tried and tried and tried, and they're a little bit frustrated, almost ready to throw in the towel. And then they find me and they say, wait a second, I think she's kind of different. She might have something that I need to know. And that's exactly what happened with Ashley. All right, Ashley lives in California and she found a honey hole in Colorado. But Ashley was following this big guru's strategy and plan and it just wasn't feeling good to her, it wasn't working very well. She did a deal or two so she knew it was possible, but she hadn't really tapped into that beehive of honey yet. And she sent me this message and said, oh my gosh, this was a dead deal, it was a bad lead, but the lady has called me back and now that I've learned about subject two from you, I feel like a completely different person. And this was actually Ashley's first deal with me. She signed up for one-on-one -on -one in First Build and Fast Plus. Within six weeks, we'd signed this lady up and we were looking towards a closing in the next month. It can happen so fast. Your experiences can change as you learn more, as you grow more. So don't be frustrated. Don't, don't throw in the towel, all right? Because learning from the gurus at the Saturday camps and at the workshops and all, all these crazy things that they do, If you feel like they're leaving out their secret sauce, it's because they are. It's also because they don't speak the same language as women. And I know that when I was going to the guru workshops and I was doing the things, I was surrounded by men. And I would have to learn what they were saying, and then I'd have to go back and translate that into how I would say it, how I would do it, how I could get the deals done. And that's why women like working with me, just like Ashley. She'd figured it out. I'd broken it down and spoke to her in a way that she could understand and grasp. She's a rock star. But when we're talking about your leads, we need to talk about your friends because your online friends have more deals in their pockets than you can know what to do with. Jennifer Hillegas is an agent in Rome, Georgia, and she's amazing. Amazing. She's actually a broker for Nice Cribs Realty, and she accidentally found me somehow on Facebook. We don't really know how we found each other, but she used to do wholesaling and assignments before she got her license, before she got in that rat race of doing the regular agent stuff, and when she came to my first workshop in Rome, Georgia, March of 2017, 
she got so excited to get back into the investing side of real estate. She took everything that I taught her that weekend and started immediately taking action and putting a plan into place. And off of just one Facebook post, she, she was able to generate 11 leads, 11 sellers. And out of those 11, she listed two houses. She did one lease option. And I think she did one wholesale deal. So she made from a free Facebook post, she had to make what, $40,000, $50,000? Jennifer, are you watching right now? How much did you make off this deal, off these deals? All right. People are online, y'all. Facebook works. Facebook is an amazing way for people to get to know each other and to help each other. And if you're not using Facebook, which is free to collect leads, you're missing out on a bucket of money. An absolute bucket of money. I teach my ladies how to put posts for free up on Facebook that are going to help them make big bucks in the future. This came from Daisy in New Mexico and she was talking to a friend of hers who introduced her to a fed up landlord. I buy houses from tired landlords all the time, but I teach my ladies how to also find tired landlords all across the country. This lady agreed to take what she owed on the house and Daisy was set up to collect $30,000 from one friend and one lead. This lady's letting her do a lease option with no money down and the only repairs is that it needs new carpet. <laughs> Sounds pretty familiar, huh? That's how I bought my owner financing house. No money down. All I had to do was put new carpet in the place. And then I was going to make $30,000. This happens all the time, y'all. It happens all the time. I get so excited from helping ladies put one post up for free or start turning everyday conversations with their real friends into lead generating activities. You don't have to go through the yellow letters and the bandit signs and the Craigslist posts and the this and that, and blah, 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 blah. You don't have to do that. You can use your God-given natural talents as a woman to get these deals done. Now, I will say that if you're interested in wholesaling and you do like sending out yellow letters, Leslie is absolutely killing it in wholesaling by sending out yellow letters to people in her honey hole that say, hey, I want to buy your house. Call me if you want to get rid of it quickly or something like that. Leslie's been with me. She signed up for First Build Done Fast Plus in October, I think, maybe the end of September. Anyway, she's been with me for about seven months, and she told me this morning that she has made $70,000 in less than seven months after signing up for First Build Done Fast Plus. Like that right there is absolutely amazing. And I cannot be more proud of her. She is absolutely killing it. But the secret is finding your honey hole and finding the marketing that works for you. That's what you got to be able to do. All right. You got to have your why. You got to have your leads and you've got to have your friends, whether your friends are online or offline, you've got to have them because they give you your best leads which is going to help you get to your why. Now, I do teach other women because as I've told you earlier, the guys just aren't teaching women the way women like to learn. <laughs> and I learned that and I went through that and I've had lots of men coaches and I always had to go back and translate it into, you know, a little bit more feminine, a little bit more fun, a little bit more flowy, a little bit more me. So that's what I teach women how to do. I teach them how to get these deals done fast. Because the faster you get these deals done, the more excited you are to get out there and do another deal and another deal and another deal. And that's how you end up $70,000 in seven months. You keep going. You take massive action and you surround yourself with other action-taking women. That's what you got to do. So I want you to imagine real quick, if you could just do one deal per month, because it doesn't take more than one deal a month to equal $10,000, either as a move-in non-refundable option fee or as a $10,000 wholesaling fee. 
But if you keep the house, you stay in the middle of the deal and you can add $300 a month to your income. So if you're paying $800 a month to the seller on this lease option, and then you're selling it to a tenant buyer who will pay you $1,100 a month, that's $300 a month to the good. If you do one deal per month for two years, that's going to be at least $240,000 in non-refundable option fees or $240,000 in wholesale fees. And I mean, I'm from a small town outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. Most people don't make two forty dollars in like 10 years. I wasn't going to be able to make $240,000 in 10 years at my job until I got into real estate investing. It changed everything for me. It absolutely changed my whole life, my whole world. But if you keep these houses, not only are you going to make the $240, you're going to end up with $7,200 coming in every single month in rent. So after two years, if you decide that you can live on $7,200 a month in extra rent that comes in, you don't have to do any more deals. But if you did it for another year, you would clear over $10,000 a month in rent. I'm talking about people give $40,000, I mean, people give 40 years to a job and don't make 10 grand a month in their retirement. I'm asking for two to three years to get you up to at least $10,000 a month in passive income from real estate investing without banks and without a license. And to do that, I have First Deal Done Fast Plus, which is the group coaching aspect to First Deal Done Fast. First Deal Done Fast is a program that I've developed to help ladies get their deals done fast. This works all across the country and you don't need a whole lot of money to be buying these houses. You don't need a lot of money to do these deals. But First Deal Done Fast is what people have been coming to me asking me for. So First Deal Done Fast is all about the Proverbs 31 woman who wants to get her deals done and do them quickly. All right. Proverbs 31 16 says she goes to inspect a field and she buys it with her earnings. She plants a vineyard. And to me, that means that a Proverbs 31 woman doesn't need to ask her husband for permission to go buy these houses. A Proverbs 31 woman doesn't need to borrow the money from her daddy. She knows what she wants to buy and she does it with her earnings because she's a business lady and she knows what she's doing and she can evaluate these deals. She plants a vineyard for generational wealth. She leaves that legacy for her kids. And also because she plants a vineyard, she drinks a little bit of wine. <laughs> Which leads me to what are you going to get with First Deal Done Fast Plus? You're going to get total access from now until forever to First Deal Done Fast. There's nine modules in there that's going to give you everything you need to start getting your deals done fast. You're also going to get eight weeks of group coaching. We get together for about an hour every week and go through everybody's celebrations. I go through a little mini real estate lesson and then I'll leave it open for questions and answers from the group. Then also once a week, we're going to have the opportunity, me and you just one-on-one -on -one, to sit down for individual coaching sessions. And we don't really sit down together. I do the group coaching and the one-on-one -on -one coaching on Zoom so that I can see you, I can talk to you, and we can record these calls so that you can watch them later and forever. It also includes Blissful Buy and Holds, which is a workshop that I've got coming up in May. And that's what, you know, the wine's really about because this workshop is in Napa Valley. One of the best ways to get ahead in real estate investing is to surround yourself with other women who are taking action and getting deals done. And I don't just mean online. You have to physically be with these people to pick up on their energy and their charisma and their excitement. And all of that leads to you going home and taking massive, massive action. Juanita was with me at the last workshop that I did in Asheville, North Carolina. We went to Biltmore and it was all about private money, private money profits. So after she left that workshop, Juanita had been getting a lead or two here or there, you know, she got four leads and had four appointments within four days of leaving our last workshop just because the atmosphere, the encouragement, the camaraderie, the friendship that is made over a glass of wine, a game of cash flow, and really deep diving into this information with no secrets. 
We're not holding anything back in these workshops. It's not like when you go to the guys' workshops and they fill you full of fluff for three days and then make you want to pay $50,000 to get to the real secrets. Oh, no. We lay it all out there right at the workshop. Also, First Still Done Fast has its own or First Little Done Fast Plus has its own student group where we put some of our wins up. I put all the recordings from the group calls up and it's just another place that you can, you know, call home either on a good day or on a bad day. It's full of people, women who are there to encourage you even when you're high on the mountain. But they also encourage you when you're low in the valley. And that's what it's, what's so important and what's so you know good for me to be able to provide you because I didn't have that when I got started if I had a good day or I had a bad day it was just me now you're gonna have a team of women ready to lift you up and keep you high on that mountain now if you're watching this and you're already in first still done fast I'm gonna and, and if you decide you want to join first still done fast plus I'm gonna give you the choice of either getting apartment blitz or private money profits which are other programs that I have available. If you're more interested in doing commercial deals, you should probably go for Apartment Blitz. If you're interested in using other people's money to fund some fix and flips or some commercial deals or you know whatever you got going on, you might wanna go with Private Money Profits. So this is open for anybody who wants to join. Whether you've done a deal before, whether you're already in First Deal Done Fast, or whether this is the first time that you've been exposed to me. <laughs> I'm here to help any woman who wants to get her deals done fast. To find out all the information and to get signed up, go to fddfplus.com. All right, that's first deal done fast plus.com. And remember, I talked to ladies who are already doing deals. I talked to a lady yesterday who had 98 houses. Well, she had 98 doors so she had 98 units and that was between houses apartments and a couple pieces of commercial property like she was already doing deals she's already rocking and rolling and she's joining first Still done fast plus because she needs the accountability to get to 200 doors she needs the friendships she needs the accountability she needs everything that we offer in first Still done fast plus to be able to go to that next level it's also for ladies who just need that, you know, kick in the pants to really get going and to get these deals done in record breaking time. I know my first deal, $15,000 in eight weeks, that gave me the momentum to carry through for the next, you know, three years. Eight weeks. I want you to have a deal done in eight weeks i want you to cash a check for fifteen thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars i want that for you and if you want that for yourself go to fddfplus.com if you're new to first still done fast plus i'm going to send you a welcome package it has the workbook for first still done fast in it it has a real estate dictionary that i wrote and a copy of she conquered it's also got some of these i buy houses buttons i'm totally going to take care of you and send you everything you need to get started the ladies love getting these pink packages in the mail and then we take pictures put them up in the become a real estate investor group and we have an absolute blast with these welcome packages but this is just a gift from me to you so that you know you have everything you need to get your deals done fast and don't forget this is a picture when we went to Biltmore two years ago um, but we're gonna take this trip and the ladies that went on this first trip this first uh, w3 that I ever did they still talk they still encourage each other they still get together and do deals the friendships that are made in person cannot be replaced online actually being with somebody and talking to them and feeling their you know their vibe and knowing that they're real and they're actually getting these deals done like you cannot replace that and i also want you to notice that i keep these events small there's not a hundred people or 500 people packed into a ballroom listening to somebody spout out stuff from the stage that's not how i play I keep my events small. I'm small on purpose because I want to give everybody individual attention. I want to let everybody shine. I want to answer every single question that you have that comes up. I want to actually be there for you and help you get these deals done.
So here's some of my other ladies that have gotten their deals done. This is Ashley on the plane ride from Colorado back to California after she got her contract signed. She put a post up on Facebook on the first Friday of February. By the second uh, week of February, she was in Colorado signing contracts. And in the third week of February, she was collecting $5,000 and people were moving into her house. Like it takes three weeks to get these deals done and start seeing the cash flow flow. That's Janine and Rex in the next picture. Rex is our mascot. He comes on all the First Hold Fast Plus um, trips with us. He will definitely be in Napa Valley and he buys houses. And then there, there's Maddie Boo. She was with us in Florida for Apartment Blitz and she is absolutely a rock star at getting seller leads talking to sellers and getting these deals done. She has jumped from houses straight into commercial deals, um, triplexes, duplexes, and she's in New Mexico getting these deals done. I have ladies in Hawaii getting deals done. I have ladies in Costa Rica getting owner financing deals on vacation rentals. I have ladies in Georgia and Florida. I have a lady, I just sent a welcome package this week to New Jersey, Wisconsin, Ladies all over the country are starting to get their first deal done fast, and I want you to join us in First Deal Done Fast Plus so that I can give you more individual attention and really help you get your deals done fast. All right, now if you're staying around because you're waiting to find out what happened with my boyfriend, if you'll remember going back into time at that Krispy Kreme, I told him to go back to Georgia. But then two weeks later, he came back to Tennessee. You know how men come back when they know that they've met their match with flowers and dinner and chocolates. And I'm sorry, I believe in you. Two weeks after he came back, we were in apartment class together. And then three months later, <laughs> we were closing an apartment deal. Not just one apartment deal. We actually own three apartment complexes. I showed you those apartment complexes on the honey hole slide. They were the black dots in my honey hole. Yeah. We own the only two apartment complexes in Strawberry Plains, Tennessee. And then we have that triplex out in Morristown, Tennessee. We still have that to this day. And then later that year, we closed the big deal in October. So from October to October, we went from you can go back home to I do. <laughs> so we are married now and he is my partner in life and my real estate partner and I love him to pieces. So if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know. You can drop questions in the comments or if you are on the website and you're watching this, there's a little uh, box that will come up. You're also welcome to send me uh, Facebook messages or you know however you need to get a hold of me please 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 let me know what kind of questions you have and how I can help you get your first deal done fast thank you thank you thank you and I will talk to you soon in first deal done fast plus bye y'all